Well, here we go again. We had another article talking about redefining smut, obscenity, and all that. And, you know, this is coming from the other side of the aisle, on the Republican side. And um, this is people that those that just want to return to, to before the Miller test. You know, we discussed the Miller test before. You'll see it right below here on the screen, what it means. Um, basically, it's just that they want to get rid of the porn. So they just, they're just going, and they're disguising it, trying to help children. Saying we need to get the smut out of the schools and stuff like that. And I'm total agreement for that. You know, there's a time and a place in what they call health class, which should be in high school when it comes down to that. Um, when it comes to children, you know, they need their reading, their writing, their arithmetic, a little bit of history. Uh, you know, it's very important. I mean, God, you know, they got rid of school script writing how do you sign for things have we gone back to the back to the old west where you just put the x on everything you, you you know you're not teaching kids script writing anymore how stupid is that you know we, we're going to have a whole generation of children growing up that won't even know how to how how to sign their name on a um, legal document you know, when they grow up to be, be adults, they won't know how to. You know, ban the porn, ban the anime, ban the games. I mean, we had an article that say games are sex, sexist and racist. You know, that turn, they turn into white supremacy on there. But before we start and get into this article, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the comments. We should be well over 600 by about now. Uh, you know, I really want to thank all those of you on YouTube that have gotten us to this point. And I want to thank all of our other social media partners that also have been subscribing and liking our stuff and sharing it. Uh, they've been an assistant as well to this. Uh, thank you for all of that. Uh, we'll try to bring you the best shows we can within the proper time period on there. So, uh, now we have Utah Republican argues for the return to pre-1973 definition of obscenity. And this is out of XBiz. A Republican member of the Utah State Legislature is arguing for a return to the pre-1973 standards for determining what speech or expression is obscene and therefore not protected by the First Amendment. See what they're doing. They're trying to change what the First Amendment is. Utah Representative Ken Ivory um, previously authored the bill HB 374 banning the pornographic and indecent books in the state public schools. It was signed into law March last week. He demanded a total reversal of the last 50 years of legal and judicial practice, dismissing the Miller test, which has been the nation's legal standard for half a century as a mere, merely the opinion of a few Supreme Court justices at the time. The Miller test developed in the landmark 1973 case, Miller versus California, establishes three conditions determining obscenity. One, whether the average person applying con contemporary community standards would find that the work taken as a whole appeals to the prudent interest. Whether the work depicts or describes in a pertinently offensive way sexual content or excitatory functions specifically defined by applicable state law. Whether the work, three, whether the work taken as a whole lacks a serious literary, artistic, political, scientific value. I have recalled for the, the Utah to challenge the Miller test and taken as a whole concept in particular. Such a challenge, if successful, could open the floodgates for anyone wishing to challenge material based on sexual content or expression. See exactly what we telling you. When you, when you try to eliminate a law or change a law, Understand what they're trying to do. This is censorship. If you're, you're going to say, well, you're, you're going to put everything, well, you know, I don't like this particular movie because it has sexual content in it or expression. Sexual content, it may be a girl in a be sexy bikini, for all they know. They could be banning Sports Illustrated bikini issue. Think about that for a minute. There are countries that do that. Middle East. There are certain countries in the Middle East that does that 
today. According to a report by the local station KSL News Radio, before a meeting of the Education Interim Committee on Wednesday, a reporter asked Ivory if he agreed with the last 50 years of Judah Prudence that the works should be taken as a whole when determining whether they are First Amendment protected speech. The three judges of the nine of the Supreme Court said that Ivory answered, it's not the, it's not the law, it's not holding a, of the Supreme Court, and yet, uh, and yet we act as if it is. Ivory was at the Capitol demanding that the Utah State Board of Education tighten enforcement of HB 373, claiming that there are books containing graphic content that have been allowed to stay on an initial purge. USBE was seeking clarification about the interpretation of the law leading to legislature managing the Associate General Counsel. Michael Curtis to remark that the school's district is being forced to choose whether it preferred to be sued for violating rights access to free speech by removing the book or for violating a clear statute that's prohibiting the material. Utah Law KSLW Radio reported further defines what is harmful to minors as well as pornographic, but those definitions say a book has to be taken on the whole and assessed for its literary value. But Ivory and other supporters of censorship hope to appeal to Utah's law and DCD law, uh, which under if depicted or des description of a book violates of one of the three criteria within the definition, the book can be pulled without take taking on the whole. They cite the indecency law language as a bright line rule when a book can be pulled. You have to remember, okay, there are books in there that are in the kids' library that, you know, you say you talk about having oral sex and talking about that. It doesn't belong in a children's library. If it's something that's in the young teens category, it depends on what age group it is. You know, it, it belongs in the adult portion of the category, in, in the library. That's where it's supposed to be. And not for where preschoolers, kindergartners, you know, uh, early grade school kids can get at it. It should not be in the school libraries. That is one thing I do agree with. What I disagree is taking out the Miller's test, taking, you know, changing the laws, because basically, you, if, like I said, if the girl's in a bikini, they'll consider that sexist. If someone says one particular word that someone, dis, one person, all it's, it's going to take one person to set this off. If they say, I don't like that particular word, the book can be pulled without looking at it as a whole. That is why the Miller test is there. It is a constitutional freedom of speech. What they're doing is they're opening up a whole can of worms that basically will be the path to eliminate the First Amendment. Think about that for a minute. They've been trying to get rid of the first, the second, and many other of the amendments down the line because this is the control that they want. And I've said this, this is both sides of the aisle. You know, you have radicals on both sides of the aisle. And like I said, it was important to vote this week. Hopefully we, we got people in that will do the job right. Not the insanity that has been going on for the last couple of years. So tell me your feelings in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.